Shout out to Indie Radio, Malik Green, and Brian Smith for subscribing to the channel. If you guys want to shout out in the next video in front of over 3,900 people, just leave a like, subscribe, and turn notification bells to all, and you will get shouted out in the next video. So, getting into this video, today we're going to be talking about the reunion of the Banana Boat crew. It is possible the Banana Boat crew could join forces, team up this offseason on the Los Angeles Lakers. And here's how they would do it. So, Carmelo Anthony could go sign for a minimum, which is all the Lakers would probably give Carmelo Anthony uh, with the Lakers. He could go sign a minimum contract with the Lakers, and I feel like that would actually be a very good piece for the Lakers because of his three-point shooting and just he has some playmaking, so he could do his own like little iso ball when LeBron or and or Anthony Davis are off the floor because they just don't totally have anyone that can do that. I know THT tries to do it, same with Caruso, and then Dennis Schroeder can do it at times, but with uh, THT potentially getting traded um, in this hypothetical, and Alex Caruso probably also getting traded in this hypothetical, um, and Kuzma actually can do some iso ball at some points too, he would definitely get traded in this hypothetical. You need someone like Carmelo Anthony that can do that when the stars are off the floor, and uh his defense is going to be a, a problem it will definitely be a problem but since the lakers have such a good defense uh they're such a good defensive team they could probably live with having a bad defender uh and so that's where carmelo anthony would be is just an offensive iso player that can knock down some threes at points uh in the game now for chris paul it would have to be a sign in trade unless you were to take some huge pay cut which he's not going to do or the lakers were to trade away a ton of guys for like second round picks or just basically cap space they would have to do a sign in trade now i think the phoenix suns would be pretty frustrated and be like okay we might like they don't have to agree to a sign in trade but at the same time you want something back for chris paul because the sun's future just looks so promising you might as well get something back for Chris Paul if he wants to leave and reward him for being so good for you guys. So if Chris Paul said he wanted to go join LeBron James because they are best friends, him, Chris Paul, uh, Carmelo Anthony, and Dwayne Wade, they're all best friends, Then and they're all part of the Banana Boat crew, then um, this is the chance for him to go do it and actually like potentially compete for a championship. That's really the goal is to compete for a championship uh, for the Lakers next season. This is the best time to do it when Chris Paul is still a good player uh, before he is too old where they're all too old and it's not really uh, successful at all and everyone just kind of forgets about it. Now, Dwayne Wade's not going to come out of retirement. So I'm just talking about these three today. Uh, I don't believe Dwayne, Dwayne Wade would come out of retirement unless maybe he'd be like, okay, well, I guess I'll just sign a 10-day contract just to join these three. I guess maybe he would just do it, sign a 10-day contract just for fun uh, with if these three were on a team. And then... Uh, Carmelo Anthony is also like a best friend, but I, I know he's not in his prime anymore. He's way out of his prime, really. He hasn't been on his prime since. Some people say Denver Nuggets. Some people say New York Knicks. Those were like his best days were with those two teams. And then the Thunder, he was still decent, but he started to fall off. And then Rockets, he fell off hard. He was on the, like the Hawks, never played for the Hawks, but was on the Hawks. Uh, never played for the Bulls, but was on their roster for like a day or two. Uh, same with the Hawks. And then was out of the league for a very very long time gets a chance finally with the trailblazers and the past two seasons has played very well for them so i think that there uh there is definitely still a couple years left for him in the league but i don't know if he has too much longer either just because of his horrible defensive ability like his defensive inability i guess would be the right way to word that uh and then chris paul definitely has some time left in the league he is 36 they're all around the 36 to 37 range so uh like next season they'll all be around the 36 37 38 range i don't know if any of them are going to be 38 carmelo might be 38 next year lebron's going to be 37 next season i believe the same thing with chris paul and then carmelo's going to be 37 38 ish next season so they're all getting way up there in basketball term for age so they kind of have to do this now if they ever want to team up uh it's already too late for Dwayne wade he retired what was that three seasons ago now i think 
yeah, three seasons ago. So not this season or the one before, but the one before that he retired. Uh, and so they got to do this now. Otherwise, they're probably never going to get this done. The only players that have ever played together from the Banana Boat crew are LeBron played with Dwayne Wade in Miami and in Cleveland. And then Carmelo Anthony and Chris Paul played together in Houston on the Rockets. So uh, LeBron and Wade have played together for five seasons and Carmelo and uh, well, not even full five seasons, but five separate seasons. And Carmelo and Chris Paul played for one season, but not a full season. And then they've also played together on like Olympic teams. Uh, I think all four of them were, have been on the Olympics teams before like 2012. I think they were all in it. And then 2008 as well. Maybe 2004 Chris Paul was part of it. I don't know. But they've all been in the Olympic teams. LeBron and Carmelo and probably Dwayne Wade too. I'm not quite sure about that. But I know LeBron and Carmelo were uh, McDonald All-American. They were on the McDonald All-American team together. Uh, there's a ton of pictures of that. And then Chris Paul was two years later in the draft. Dwayne Wade, LeBron, and Carmelo were all in the 2003 draft. And then uh, CP3 was in the 2005 draft. So they're all pretty close in age. Uh, Draft-wise, the, the only reason Chris Paul is the same age as LeBron is because Chris Paul went to college for, did he go for two years? He must have gone for two years, but he might have only went for one. Not quite sure. LeBron didn't go to college though, and Chris Paul did. So that is why they're pretty close to the same age. Uh, and then Carmelo went to, he's a year older because he went to college and LeBron did not. Now, do I think this is a championship team with these three and Anthony Davis, who it looks like he's one of LeBron's new friends? Yeah, I think they can be. Uh, they don't really have to give up too much to get CP3 in a signing trade. I think if he demands that he wants to go to the Lakers, probably give up what Kyle Kuzma, KCP. Um, because look, I think Chris Paul said he wanted a three-year, sixty million, which would be a twenty a year. So you probably just give up Kyle Kuzma, Alex Caruso, and KCP. That puts you over how much they owe, but. I don't think they really want to give up THT, but maybe they say, oh, well, we're not going to agree to this unless you give up THT. And then in that case, you probably just give him up. I know they wouldn't give him up for uh, Kyle Lowry, but Chris Paul is an another animal. First ballot Hall of Famer, and he's never won a championship, never made it to, well, he hasn't made it to conference finals before, but hadn't for a very long time. So they're just very, very good players, all of them. And I think I speak for all of us when we say we would love to see them all team up together uh once and for all because it would be kind of a shame if we never got to see three of them together at one point in their careers uh carmelo i believe was supposed to join that miami heat the heatles and then chris bosh did eventually i don't remember exactly what happened but i believe that was supposed to be carmelo instead of chris bosh but then uh it felt that something fell through the cracks and it ended up being chris bosh but yeah guys that's basically it for the video let me know what you guys think in the comment section below do you think this is uh possible do you think it might happen i think the chris paul thing's a stretch but i could definitely see mellow joining the lakers uh and if you guys like like i said if you guys want to shout out in the next video just leave a like subscribe and turn notification bells to all and you guys can get shouted out in the next video in front of over 3,900 people we're almost a 4k subscribers so if you would please just subscribe uh and then also there's a join button down below if you guys want uh, some special perks. It's only three bucks a month. So you guys could just hit that and I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. See you guys in the next upload.